Hello class, uh, I hope this video will help with uh, some participation activities in module four. It says nearsightedness affects 8% of children in a certain country. The eyesight of 256 randomly selected children are checked for nearsightedness. What is the mean of the sampling distribution of proportions? So if we took all of the proportions and we found the average, what would that average be? And it actually, it's, it's the 8%. Right? It's kind of given to us here, right? Uh, I press check answer, boom, we get the correct answer, right? What is the standard deviation? Okay, so I have a little cheat sheet here, right? So uh, the standard deviation would be this bottom part, the denominator here, when we're trying to calculate the z-score. Um, see, here we go. Right, so standard deviation would look like this, right? The proportion times one minus the proportion divided by uh, n, right? n was 256, p was 0 0.08, right? So if I pull out my calculator and, oops, that's not it. Let me type this in. So I think I've done this correct. P times 1 minus P, right? 0 0.08 times 1 minus 0 0.08 divided by, and that should be 256. And just double checking my numbers, uh, right? Uh, P was 8%, 256, so we're looking good there. So pull my calculator back up, I press enter. So if we go three decimal places, we would have zero. 0.017, correct? Because we're going to round to three decimal places. 0 0.017. 0 0.017, let's check our answer. All right, so we're looking good. We have the standard deviation. Uh, so now it says, what is the probability that n equals 256 um, will have a proportion of nearsightedness of at least 9%? All right, of at least 9%. Okay, so our x bar is the 9%. So we can use a formula here, um, right? We can, we can use this, this norm.s.distribution Excel function. Right? That's going to return the probability that a z-score is at or below. Now, we need greater than, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. So we should calculate the z-score. And that should be easy to do, right? Because we know z equals the 0 0.09 minus 0 0.08 divided by the standard deviation. And we know what this standard deviation is, right? We, we did that down here. It was 0 0.017, right? So, uh, right, so p hat minus p, just want to make sure we're all on the same page here, would be uh, 0 0.09, right? The 9% minus the 8%. All right, the 9% minus the 8%. And then we have to divide that by the standard deviation, which we know is 0 0.017, right? So let's, let's pull out the calculator and do it, right? So P hat minus P, that was the 0 0.09 minus 0 0.08. And we're gonna divide that by this, but we've already calculated this value, right? Didn't we say this was 0 0.017? Right, this down here was the standard deviation, and we found this to be 0 0.017. So we do p hat minus p over 0 0.017. That gets me my z score. All right, so I'm going to type this in here. All right, z score was 0.588. Right, and now we want the probability, right, that the value is greater than, right? The, the proportion of nearsightedness is at least 9% or greater, okay? So we have an Excel function for that as well. So I'm gonna type in, uh, we want, whoops, hold on. Okay, there we go, right? So we want that to find the probability that this is gonna be equal to or greater than, right? So right here is my z-score. I'm going to type in equals norm.s.dist, right? Because that's going to return the um, probability that a z-score is at or below a given value. But we need greater than. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. 
Uh, my Z score was this 0 0.0588. So we could either enter 0 0.588 or just click this box here. And then it says cumulative. We just say one to mean true, right? So our Z score and I put one for cumulative. And then if I press enter, I get an answer, but that's not the correct answer. That would be if it was less than, right? Notice on my box here, it says, is at or below a given value? We need at or greater than the given value. So this would be the left side of my normal curve. We need the right side of the curve. So if I type in one minus this, right? Because the total area under the curve has to equal one. So if I do one minus and then press enter, I get 0 0.278, 0 0.278. So we go back to the problem and I put in 0.278. And I think that should do it. I check answer and we get correct, right? So this would tell me the uh, probability that the proportion of uh, people that are nearsighted uh, are at least 9% or greater. I hope that helps. Uh, thank you for watching.